Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Sunny Healing. I hope you guys are doing well. Today's reading is going to be messages. So um, we're not sure what kind of messages are going to come out. If it's from someone you love, someone you have interest in. Uh, it could also be a colleague, a friend, a family member. It could be anyone, okay? So I have two piles for you to choose from. Pile 1 is going to be green, and Pile 2 is going to be red. So 1, 2. And we're going to get started with Pile 1, the green candle. And the way we're going to proceed today, I don't have any kind of tarot cards on me. So I decided to do it this way. I have my beautiful Star Tarot um, book. So we're just going to pull um, a, a card from the book and see what the message is for you. And then we ha I have a few message cards from the person of the green candle. So let's get started with the card first. So pile one. Let's see what your card is going to be about the message. We're going to see who this person is and what is the message for you. So pile one, let's see. Okay, we have the chariot. And it says intuitive action, change and victory. Okay, so the chariot, pile one. So pile one, your card is the chariot. Who is this person who has a message for you? Okay, um, I am getting pile one. This person is someone who ha either has worked with you, worked for you, or worked um, or works right now in the setting you're working at. Could also be a client. I do sense a connection with your career, with your finances. So this person is also, I'm hearing, could also be someone who counsels you somehow. Who could be giving you advice on you know how to proceed with your career with your studies with your um i'm also hearing your certificates your diplomas so someone who's giving you some kind of counsel could be a mentor it could be someone you work for it could be a boss it could be someone you work with a colleague so someone connected somehow to your finances, to your career advancement, and someone who's giving you some kind of direction, some kind of orientation, some kind of uh, mentoring, advice, guidance. Um, this person has gone through a lot. I am sensing this person has experience um, in the specific uh, advice this person has given you. So it's not like... Uh, advice you're receiving that don't make sense the advice you're receiving actually comes from experience from a place of experience so this person has maturity this person has wisdom i also see some of you this person has even guided a few people before you um, so they have again experience in terms of even guidance um, um, uh, could be i'm hearing could be a consultant of some kind for some people and they've given a lot of clarity to others. They've given clarity, they've given a sense of direction, they even pointed out a few ideas, a few thoughts, uh, things here that were very much of an inspiration of, uh, for some people that helped them move forward in their life. So this person, pile one, if you know who this person is, okay, First of all, I have to say, for some of you, it could be a mother or a father, okay? So it doesn't have to be completely someone, um, uh, you know, like a stranger or, a, or just a friend or a colleague. For some people, this could be a father or a mother. So just for some, okay? So let's see, what is this person's message for you? What do they want to say? What is this person's message for you? Okay, I am hearing pile one. This is a deep message. So a message that maybe they could have been hesitant to share with you or they feel that this message they, they want to share with you at some point, but maybe not right now. Let's see. Okay, it says, I know this is not right. I will work it out. Okay, pile one. 
it says, I know this is not right. I will work it out. By the one, okay, so this person here from this message, I feel that you could have said something to them or you could have shared something personal or something that happened to you that felt unfair or felt not right. This person wants you to know that they're here to help you work this thing out. Find ways to maybe like reorient yourself especially when it comes to your mindset. So this person is very good in terms of motivation, inspiration. They have ways uh, with their speech, with their conversation skills, with their, um, they, they're very good at sensing people and understanding what needs to be said to people in order to help them grow. So this person is gonna be helping you working things out. So I don't know if this is something this person already told you in the past, but this is a strong message coming. Uh, I'm getting P names like Paul, Patricia, Patrick, P names, yeah, I'm getting strong P names. So it could be you, could be this person, and A names as well. Alan, Alexandra, Anthony. What else do they want to say? They say, I am so anxious and overwhelmed. I know I have to get over myself. Okay, pile one. This person is helping you a lot, pile one. This is someone, if you were doubting, if you weren't sure if this is the right person to share your problems with, if you weren't sure that they would get you, this is a strong, again, a strong empath. I feel this person has even psychic skills that they're not aware of. So this person feels others. They feel if you're going through an anxious time, if they feel that um, you're being overwhelmed or it's very difficult for you to make a specific decision, a specific choice or a specific um, kind of reorientation when it comes to your career or your studies and stuff like that. This person is here to guide you and they know that the first step to do so is to actually heal on an emotional and mental way before seeing things in the physical realm. So they are telling you, Pile One, that they're here to help you with your emotional and mental state so that you can actually release any kind of negative feelings so anxiety overwhelm um, overwhelmed feelings uh, feelings around uh, being um, not good enough feelings around being um, um, almost like not realizing your potential, all of that, this person is going to have a strong impact and has the ability to help you with that. So if you were wondering about it or if you were hesitant to share a few things, don't, don't be, okay? What else do they want to say to you? They say, these people... Do not, do not get, okay, these people do not get to have a say on this. So you could have people right now who are trying to kind of influence you, push you to make some kind of choice or to choose what they think is right for you. And this person is saying that these people don't have a say on this, okay? So this person feels that strongly that you guys have the ability to choose for yourself and the way you choose for yourself once you're not anxious of course once you're not in a negative mindset once you release that the way you choose things for yourself is much more um, potent and is definitely what you um, what you will succeed in so your choice is going to be a lot more impactful for yourself really important that you let go of people who are trying to push you towards a specific choice, to push you towards a specific direction in your life. Release that, okay? So this person wants you to know that. These people do not get to say, to have a say on this. By the way, I'm getting a message that this person could also be a spirit guide for some of you. Um, a spirit guide that's coming um, as an assistance to you so some of you don't have this person in the physical but you are interacting with them as a spirit guide you're receiving messages one more let's see 
Okay, it says, I want to offer you flowers and shower you with gifts. This person really cares about you, by the one. This person, for some, this person could have a little bit of a feeling towards you, a bit of a crush. So just so you know if this resonates, um, but not for all, of course depending what your relationship with this person is but this person definitely cares there is a caring connection between the two of you this is what they want you to know this is the final message they care about you they want to gift you things they want to be there for you when things are tough and they are planning to give you something so their their plan the next steps or the next action of this person is to actually offer some kind of gift so maybe offer um a job opportunity, maybe offer some kind of promotion, offer something that is physically um, tangible, concrete, to show that they care, to show that they're going to be there for you in the long run, to show that they actually are here to guide you in the best way. And they actually care about you more than just, let's say, a professional relationship or more than just a client. This person really cares. They have connected with you. They feel that it's really important not only to guide you, but also to offer things that will show you how much they care for you. So expect this kind of thing from this person. Let me know who this person is for you, Paiwan, if you recognize this. And I'll see you on another reading. I love you. Hello, Pile 2. You guys chose the red candle. So like I said to Pile 1, I do not have any tarot cards on me. So what are we going to do today? We're going to be picking a card from my Star, star Tarot uh, guidebook. And then I'm going to just um, read the energy of the card and then pick up a few messages here from cards, okay? So we want to know who this person is, the person who has a message for you. And we also want to know what the message is. So let's pick a card, pile two. Who has a message for you and what is the message? Okay. <laughs> Okay, you're not going to believe this, but we're also, once again, picking the chariot. So Pylon was the chariot, but somehow, I'd, because um, I picked the chariot from the beginning, pile one, for pile one, pile two, it is at the end, the keywords are different. So I'm going to read you the keywords for pile two. Cancer, okay, multitasker, strong personality, a warrior, movement, breakthroughs, resourceful, focus, energy, mastery. So this person, Pile 2, has a very strong personality, as you can see. And obviously, this person could have cancer in their chart. That they don't have to. But their personality is strong. They are kind of a warrior through life. They've gone through many breakthroughs, and they care about moving forward no matter what. They stay focused. Their energy is very intense, uh, but not in an um, imposing way. It, it has also softness to that. So intense they keep on pushing forward they keep on moving forward for them there is no end they don't settle so i don't know if you're picking up on who this person could be for them settling is kind of the worst thing in life so even if they have um, some kind of stability some kind of accomplishment some kind of um, a recognition already or some kind of status in life they keep on moving forward for them it's not enough not because they feel that things are not enough but because they know that um, there's always something that you can do. You can always grow. You can always self-develop. You can always understand yourself better. So they feel that the more they push forward, the more they try things, the more they learn things, the better they are. Because that in, that can, in the kind of thing, learning, self-learning, self-development is always needed no matter how old you are, no matter how wise you are, no matter how knowledgeable you are you're always a beginner in a specific subject right so this is someone who has that kind of mindset someone who never stops learning so um is someone you admire pile too i have to say most of you you know who i'm talking about you admire this person because of the energy they project because of this uh, ability to keep on going no matter what and they've had endings in their life they've had endings that were tough difficult to get up from 
and they still managed to move forward. So let's see, what is this person's message for you, Pile 2? So I hope you recognize who this person can be. Oh, it says, I know we have a long way to go, but I trust we will make it. Okay, Pile 2. For many of you, this is someone you're in love with or someone you have some kind of romantic interest towards. This person wants you to know that no matter what obstacles you have, and it could be a long way to go, like they say, this person has faith that you guys can make it. So this person is not doubting. This person is not doubting. Even if things could be very difficult right now or very uncertain and... Um, Complicated. This is what I'm hearing. Complicated. If the situation is complicated, this person does not believe in that. They have trust in a higher uh, power that is bringing you together. This person has trust in a, in the fact that the universe met you, you know, had you to meet in order for you to make it at some point. So this is what they're saying. Let's see if there is more. This person might like the color orange or blue. This person is saying, our potential is limitless. I am over this. It's time to get started. Wow. I was feeling the intensity. Definitely very intense personality pile too. I'm also hearing fire personality. So some of you, this person could have fire in their chart. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Okay, so this person knows what you guys can do together. Our potential is limitless. This person believes in infinite possibilities. This person is open to grow in life, to change, to keep on moving forward. And they feel that with you, they can do that. So I don't know what their situation is right now in their personal life. But somehow, um, it's strongly coming that with you... Uh, things are going to be moving forward much faster. With you, things are going to be developing, growing, expanding. This person believes with you there is a lot of expansion that can come, a lot of development. Their life is going to get much, much better. So they're getting a little bit, this person is getting a little, almost a little bit anxious, a little bit impatient. This person wants to get things started with you. And no matter what kind of obstacles, this person really is pushing forward. There's just this patience. They want a bit of control. I'm hearing this is someone who could be into control. Um, yeah, let's see what else. I want to offer you flowers and shower you with gifts. <laughs> definitely a romance for a lot of you this is a romantic interest for a lot of you this person really wants to show their care so they could be into um their love language could be you know uh, gift giving uh, showing their love by actually offering things to the people they love so this person wants to offer you flowers and shower you with gifts so i don't know if you knew this by two of them but it's, I'm hearing it's a confession. For so many of you, you're not aware that this person, you kind of inspire them to give you something, to uh, bring you something, to kind of make you feel special. This person wants to offer you something, doesn't have to be very expensive, but something that makes you, you know, feel special. It says, I want to tell you more. Please, let's talk and open up. So this person really wants to talk to you. So in terms of messages, there's a very strong intensity. This person wants to say a lot of things. So there could be things that are not clear. Okay, there could be things that need to be clarified, things that need to be confessed, things that need to be, uh, you know, just discussed here, pile two. This person wants to open up. And I feel uh, a lot of you don't even know this, don't even realize how much they want to speak about how they feel, speak about things that happened in their life, speak about what's going on in terms of even these obstacles. I feel this person really wants to have an open discussion with you. I see you guys, you know, sitting in a place with intimate where you guys could have that kind of discussion and you both are being vulnerable with each other. This is exactly the kind of energy this person is trying to, you know, manifest with you, pile two. 
What else? One more message. I am so anxious and overwhelmed. I know I have to get over myself. So yes, they're trying to kind of, again, I'm getting this impatient. Impatience uh, feeling. This person, there is this um, anxiety, restlessness. You know, they want to come your way real fast speak to you about all of this but somehow they feel that yes no it's not right time right now i need to pace myself i need to take things slow i need to take things step by step because things if um if i do it the wrong way this person understands that if they're doing it the wrong way too fast or too much all at once things might not manifest the way they think or they want it to happen. So they know that the universe is unfolding this situation in a way that's organic. They know that they have to trust, to have, they have to keep on having faith without trying to push too much, without trying to be too aggressive, too, um, let's say, dominant in the way they act with you. So they are trying to pace themselves. They know that whatever they're feeling inside, Somehow they can't fully express it right now because things might get um, maybe inappropriate, I'm hearing, or um, overwhelming for everybody. I'm going to get one message because I got that for pile one in terms of action. Any kind of action this person is thinking? It says, I am so inspired by you. I am ready to share more passion. Okay, so expect this person to show you their passionate side. So if they've been maybe professional or a bit shy or somehow cold or detached, expect them to be a little bit more fiery. I'm sensing this very intense energy. So you're kind of pulling them in here, pile two. Um, just be aware that this person, be ready to, to see this person pushing a little bit more, showing their passion, showing their, I'm hearing flirtatious side, their um, ability to be like, a little bit more uh, in the flow, you know, a little bit more um, expressive in general when it comes to their passionate side. So I hope this was helpful, Pile 2. Let me know if you recognize this person or these messages resonated with you. I see you later. Bye.